Help me to stay competitive against the big multinational corporations by subscribing to this channel, hitting the notification bell, liking the video and maybe leaving a comment in the comment sections below. Thank you very much and enjoy the video. Greetings free thinkers, welcome to the Hogcast. Okay, on today's video we have for you a story from out of France in which Emmanuel Macron has decided to suddenly, as if out of nowhere, combat the, um, the, the no-go areas and the segregated Muslim communities that are living completely isolated lives inside France. Now, France has an election soon and you know as well as I do that the only reason that he's suddenly talking about this is because of the very real threat that uh, Marie Le Pen might actually win this time and in my opinion if France is going to survive she needs to win and we're going to go over that so we're going to look through this article and we're going to see exactly where France is because let me tell you something France is on its knees a lot of people don't realize just how bad the situation in France is if you i implore you all to visit france i mean tourism the tourism industry has completely vanished because nobody goes for a romantic holiday to paris anymore because when the eiffel towers close down almost all the time thanks to the threat that they, they these people pose and two the tourists are constantly bombarded with threats assaults and robbery and extortion by fake asylum seekers who organize themselves into gangs i've been to france i've seen it myself so we're gonna get into i mean personally i'd recommend you go to france and see it for yourself so with that out of the way let's get into the video okay so the article starts i apologize for this big white thing in the front here that is uh, an advertisement from uh, the, the daily mail this article's out of the daily mail Emmanuel Macron vows to win the battle against Muslims creating separate communities in France. The French president made the comments on a visit to a police station in Mulhouse. The area is considered a security concern because of content because of tensions linked to religion. No, the tensions are not linked to religion as a whole. The tensions are linked to one specific religion, and we all know what religion that is. He lamented children being taken out of school because of radical ideas linked to Islam. They're not linked to Islam. They are an integral part of Islam, and anyone who reads the Holy Quran will be able to figure that out for themselves. I read it. I recommend you all read it to know exactly what we are up against here because a lot of the time I say to leftists when I debate the left I say to them that have you read the Quran okay and invariably they'll say no or they've heard segments of it or they've been told segments of it from um, imams or from Muslims themselves however of course that leaves them open to Takiya and Takiya is a very real thing no it doesn't mention Takiya in the Quran I looked for it myself it is not there however there is authenticated hadith that and and hadith are, are instructions given by very prominent scholars from the islamic uh, society or from imams that are not quite at the level of any verse or chapter you find in the quran but they are still adhered to by the vast majority of muslims however i say to these leftists who am I going to listen to? Am I going to listen to the scholars themselves? Even Am I going to listen to the prophet himself, okay, and the writings that came down from God to him? Or am I going to listen to you, a leftist, upper middle class, university socialist type, who lives in a fairy tale world inside his own head? Okay, who am I going to listen to and take uh, uh, advice from in regards to islamic scripture and the muslim community and what their intentions are in the west am i going to listen to them and what is written in the holy book or am i going to listen to you a pasty faced uh, upper middle class socialist student who gets all his ideology and ideas from cnn who am i who am i going to listen to because they are saying one thing and you were saying another and everything that they say themselves 
tends to be right. They tend to do exactly what they say they are going to do. And everything you say that they say they are going to do, they don't do. That's why I say it to everyone. You know, it's not propaganda and it is not fake news, okay? If you just listen to what they say, they tell you they want to self-segregate. They want to be on their own. They don't like to mix. Muslim women cannot marry outside of the religion, etc., etc. It goes on and on and on. And they will tell you this themselves. Continuing the article, Macron, excuse me, Emmanuel Macron today pledged to win the battle against Muslims creating separate communities in France. During a visit to a police station in the densely populated district of Mulhouse in the east of the country, the French president said the Republic must keep her promises. Well, there you go, isn't it? Yes, the Republic must keep her promises. However, it's funny how we're coming up to another election cycle in France and all of a sudden the globalist politicians are giving you their promises yet again. They're saying what they're going to do, etc, etc. And you know, as well as I do, when they get elected, they will do no such thing. They will just carry on as before. But the main problem here is the fact that... And it's not just French people, it is... Across Western society, there are still too many people who are blue-pilled. There are too, still too many people who have not taken the red pill and awakened to what's happening. There are still so many people who think, oh, well, I'll, I'll vote Labour this time, or I, I think I will vote for whichever other mainstream party it is in whichever country. And there will be plenty of French people who vote for Macron, and then take to the streets to protest a year later saying, Macron, you didn't stick to your promises. He's not going to stick to his promises. He never has and he never will. Yet why will you again vote for him? As I said before, the fear is from, from Macron's side that Le Pen might finally get in. And in my opinion, as I said before, that is probably the only thing that will save France now because... Even going back to Jacques Chirac's day, he knew that France was heading for a partition. I'm sorry, my nose is a bit bunged up, so that's why I sound a bit nasal today. He added, we have decided to win the battle against Islamic separatism using education and the economy. That's the most ridiculous part of all this. He's going to win the battle using education and economy. For a start... He's just said that the, the, one of the main problems is that the Muslim community in France are taking their children out of school for religious reasons. So how are you going to educate them exactly? What if they don't want to be educated? What if, as we know, they prefer their Islamic madrasas and to learn Islamic law and Islamic history? and not to take part in western curriculum curriculum what are you going to do then and you're going to win this using the economy how exactly the, the have you noticed those two words are deliberately vague the economy and education could mean a thousand different things and that in itself proves that these globalist politicians have not learned their lesson people are sick of this that could mean anything. Education and the economy could mean anything. It could mean indoctrination and extra welfare payments. It could mean going out into the Muslim areas and speaking to these people. Or it could mean a, a, a jobs boost, a, 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 an economic kind of... Um, an in, a, a job-creating drive or... or something along those lines it is deliberately left vague so it can mean many different things and the politicians themselves can worm out of it when they do so we're getting to the crux of the video now and that is of course this new word pointing to communitarianism which by the way is gobbledygook i've put this word into every single dictionary and spell checker i found um it, there's no such thing it's just gobbly he's just invented the word himself communitarianism the creation of self-governing communities within the state the premier the premier said he was sick of hearing about the children being taken out of radical uh, out of schools because of radical ideas linked to islam but we've gone over that before now 
this thing, this new branding of this word that he's come up with, communitarianism, which basically means, as he said, we are here for the reasons that we share with Muslims. That is the struggle against communitarianism. So what I think he means by communitarianism is basically multiculturalism. It basically means separate communities all living independent lives self-governing themselves now we in the alt media and we on the right of politics have been warning about this for years okay and we've been called everything from racist we've been called conspiracy theorists that was my favorite one we've been called uh we've been in the latter years since donald trump coined the term fake news we've been told that we're spreading fake news etc etc but now all of a sudden emmanuel macron suddenly says that this really is a thing but not only that he has to package it up in something that's palatable to the public so he invents a completely new word to describe it this word basically translates to failure of multiculturalism but he cannot say that because he is a proponent a big supporter of multiculturalism so instead of saying multiculturalism has failed he says we must battle communitarianism further down he says he is quoted as saying france is a secular republic which does not compile official statistics about citizens citizens religion or racial origin the reason why is because the french people who are yet to be red pilled would probably have a heart attack if they understood just how quickly this replacement has gone a lot of french people who are older have said that i can't remember who who made who said it first but all of the other french people basically quote this person very often and that person said that one generation ago France was France. Time goes by, and literally just one generation later, France is no more. Not only that, in a lot of um, European countries, even here in Britain, if you take the people who are citizens, and not even migrants, the people who are citizens, who are under the age of 10 years old, the majority of them are not of the native stock. So you've got to think about how in one more generation just how bad things would have gotten even further we are heavy heading for if things don't change we are heading for a very dire situation in western europe because i'm afraid to say the cultures west and east are going to clash and when they clash it, we, it won't be in the middle east it won't be middle eastern towns and cities you see uh, reduced to rubble it will be cities such as paris berlin brussels maybe even london the orwellian news speak is strong in the mainstream media especially when it is combined with the globalist politicians who uh, realize that their back is in a corner and they have pretty much destroyed their own cultures and communities and nations and societies and traditions it honestly shocks me because i don't know how these people can sleep at night i i would have a panic attack if i had done this to my own people i would have a panic attack a legit panic attack so anyway here this this next quote is dripping with orwellian newspeak so it continues but borswiller the district of east excuse me the district of the eastern city of mulhouse which macron visited is considered a quote unquote security concern because of tensions linked to religious faith in other words islam is dominating the area and is becoming intolerable for the native french to actually live there and uh, live in peace and harmony so they engage in something that also has an orwellian term uh, and that is a uh, white flight you see to go off on a bit of a little uh, only a little tangent here when white people move out of an area it's called white flight when white people move into an area it's called gentrification so you can't we're damned if we do damned if we don't we can't win either way we are always going to be portrayed in the media and by globalist politicians as the people in the wrong however that phrase there that sentence there 
that the area is considered, quote, a, cons a security concern because of tensions linked to religious faith, pure Orwellian trash. You know exactly which religion is doing it, and you know exactly why it is a, con a security concern. The mainstream media love this word links. Linked, links, or in any other derivative of the word, because it's a smarmy way of writing the article without directly implicating anyone. Many of those living in the area, um, it, many of those living there in Borzwiller have links to former French colonies in North Africa, such as Algeria. In other words, they come from those countries. <laughs> There have also been concerns about the funding of the new £25 million Anwar Mosque and Islamic Centre in Mulhouse, because around half of this sum is coming from the gas and rich, gas and petrol rich state of Qatar. Well, that's another issue entirely, because a lot of mosques across the Western world are actually being built by places like Qatar and Saudi Arabia. They provide the funding. When was the last time you heard of a Christian church being built? Anywhere, let alone in the Middle East. But I mean, even here in England, when was the last time you heard of, uh, even in, in Western Europe, anywhere? You tell me the last time you heard of a church being built. They don't. They get shut down all the time. Here in the United Kingdom... Uh, Church, Christianity is on its knees, but Islam goes from strength to strength. It doesn't take a lot of foresight to see where Western society is heading. If I was a Muslim, I would be very happy with myself living in the West right about now. So we're rounding up the article now, and it says how France has a France has a Muslim population estimated around six million, the largest in Western Europe. In actual fact, it's closer to ten million, thanks to the number of undocumented refugees and uh, asylum seekers living there. So it's actually uh, in excess of ten million. There are frequent claims of discrimination against them. Well, let me tell you something: the real discrimination is against is by Muslims against non-Muslims. That's where the real discrimination is. Because what more can France do? They've offered up their country, they've offered up their money, they've offered up all, and this money's coming from their pension uh, pots. They're having to dip into their, their elder and native-born French um, citizens' uh, pension uh, contributions to give to the people who have just arrived. They're giving up their homes. They are making um, excuses for them when they commit crimes. They are allowing them to dominate the cultural and religious sectors. What more can the French do to appease these people? Nothing. Yet you see Muslims attacking French people day in, day out. Who is the real discriminator and the discriminatee? It's not hard to work that out. Personally, I think if France is to continue being a country that was once called France and have actual French culture, the last chance they have is to vote in Marie Le Pen. Everyone's entitled to their own opinion. That is mine. I know it's not popular with YouTube. I don't know what they're going to do about this video. However, I'm just sick of the 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 one-sidedness in everything the censorship in everything the way the, the globalists and the mainstream media use orwellian newspeak to fool the people and subvert their will and to just go along with their own agenda anyway let me know what you guys think in the comments about this story what do you think france what 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 do you think coming for france do you think they're going to survive if you think France is heading for a partition, as I and many people do? Let me know wh when you think this will happen. I mean, some people I speak to think it'll happen in less than 10 years. Me, personally, I think it'll happen before around 2050, but that's only my opinion. Anyway, thanks for watching the video. Let me know what you think in the comment sections below, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you, free thinkers, and goodbye.